And now I'll be calling to the stage Evan from the Wax. Woohoo! Hey. <clears throat> so yeah, just before Whoa. I jump into things here, I'll try to get my screen sharing figured out. But yeah, Seb, this is awesome, man. This is such a cool meetup format. Uh, you know, I mean, just to get all these people in one room, I mean, you would never get that in a local place. So coronavirus aside, like I'm, I'm a huge proponent of this. I think you should keep doing this. Um, and on another side, yeah, you know, this is a small world. Um, I mean, just on this, on this call, I've actually worked with uh, Michael uh, right in the early days uh, of Horizon Blockchain Games with Skyweaver. Uh, Oleg, I work with all the time, Defuse on a nearly da daily basis. So yeah, and met with you luckily in San Francisco. So yeah, man, small world and it's insane how much progress has been made. Yes. All right. Enough of that. All right. right. Whenever you're ready uh, for your screen share, I can put it on. All right. Tell me when you can see. Yep, I can see it. And here you go. So the stage is yours. Go, Evan. Yeah, so Wax, uh, the blockchain for mainstream video gaming and entertainment. Uh, realize that is a completely nebulous term um, and kind of marketing speak. But I think, you know, one of the keys to our project is that we're taking a novel approach to this. I think, you know, getting to mainstream gaming is not something that's going to happen inside a closed box. It's certainly not going to happen from a project, you know, kind of forcing their beliefs of the world onto, you know, the rest of the ecosystem. I think, you know, with Wax, we're taking a ton of experience um, in item trading. Uh, the whole core team has been very involved in gaming for decades. And we're taking a much more collaborative approach. Uh, that means working with, you know, current IP holders, um, real AAA name brand companies. Um, working in the legal frame, you know, working with legal frameworks and working with, you know, not just the blockchain layer of this, but everything else that needs to happen in order to get a mainstream, you know, IP game on there. And that's not to say we're not into indie devs, we're, we, we're all for it. But even there, um, you know, there's tons of stuff that needs to be done and figured out. And so that's what I mean when I say the blockchain for mainstream gaming. Um, so what is Wax? So this is kind of funny. I, I really do get this question way too much. So I'm going to clarify this. We are our own entirely owned chain. Um, we do leverage EOSIO technology, um, but fundamentally we are our own DPoS chain. Um, got our own blocks, uh, block producers and guilds. Oleg Dapika is actually one of them. Um, you know, got an excellent, uh, excellent group there. And you know, Wax, where it differentiates itself from, from other chains, is we offer a full suite of development tools, um, blockchain-based tools, but now we're even stepping into this kind of business layer as well, where we're constructing legal frameworks and NFT standards and different APIs um, that really kind of center around this concept of improving IP licensing as it, as it uh, you know, pertains to blockchain. Um, many of the owners and operators of popular games, they have incredibly valuable IP. And the idea of taking that IP and putting it on Ethereum, for instance, and having no recourse uh, for that item um, in terms of any sort of revenue generation after that initial sale it, it is off-putting to some. So we're working on ways of doing you know, residual rev share for periods of time um, while still maintaining a decentralization and true ownership of that asset. Um, but I think it makes it a lot more palatable, uh, these solutions, uh, to the, the general um, gaming community. Now, from the developer suite side of the house, uh, we've built out a very, very robust uh, developer portal. Uh, you guys can check that out at developer.wax.io. Uh, we've got all sorts of different plugins, tools, um, code samples, um, really, really simple stuff. Uh, and, and even we, we, you know, we highlight our partners and how to use them, like Defuse has a section on there, and how you can leverage their technology to, you know, work better with Wax. So. That's kind of what Wax is. And I guess the mission of Wax is really to bring, you know, blockchain gaming and all of the, the, the pros of it to the world. And I think we're taking a, a, an approach that's not just digital items, but even physical items and working with this kind of combination of both. So I think that's a bit unique as well. And uh, hopefully we can get to kind of all of this stuff in the next eight or so minutes. Um, you know, this is a, a question we get a lot. Tons of blockchains out there. Why build on Wax? Um, I'm going to show you here in a second. I think we've got the easiest onboarding and best wallet experience in the game right now. Um, that is step number one. Onboarding is the biggest single issue in blockchain, 
And if we want to get outside of recycling the same, you know, 10 to 20,000 users that are playing blockchain games daily today, uh, this problem has got to be solved and it's got to be solved at a very core level. So we've taken that on. Um, I think the other big piece is our gamers don't have to own or, or know anything really about crypto to get started. Um, we stake on behalf of our, our gamers and uh, they get, I don't, you know, don't quote me on this, but several hundred transactions without ever having to own any wax. Um, and this has been a huge step. I mean, this is why we were able to get prospectors up to, I think, 25,000 DAU um, during our first launch with them. Um, those types of numbers I just genuinely don't think are possible if you don't enable simple onboarding and not require people to pay to play. Um, the network itself, is a delegated proof of stake. It's extremely low cost, reliable, and fast. So we're talking half second block times, uh, block production times, which is clearly a big improvement on, you know, we'll call it more mainstream chains. Um, this next piece here is about government governance. Uh, for those in proof of stake chains, they know how important this is. Uh, we've created an office of the inspector general, which is basically a third party platform that raids and grades each of the, uh, block producer candidates based on about 100, and 100 or so criteria, try to keep it very objective and based on who's contributing the most to the network, not who's you know running the busy, biggest exchange and staking tokens on somebody's behalf. Uh, the next piece here is Wax Labs. So we launched Wax Labs just a few weeks ago, maybe a few months at this point uh, with Corona, I'm losing track of time, but it's a multi-million dollar developer grant program. So. Basically, it's a venture capital fund with no equity. So we're just kind of looking and evaluating early stage uh, projects, and we really want to kickstart those. Um, and we know that takes some money. So we've set aside several million dollars to help fund those games. And uh, yeah, any developers, go check that out. Uh, I've talked a bit about the robust developer portal. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dive into that too much more. You can see that at the at the site. And then the last but not least is a team that's dedicated to continuously supporting projects and growing the platform. I think, you know, if you talk to any of the dApps uh, doing any real volume on our platform, they have direct contact with us, right? We're not here to just build a, a platform and a, a protocol and say, hey, you know, go figure it out on your own. Um, you know, we've got a lot of users from our past businesses um, and our, our social followings, our different channels. And, and we're happy to continuously support these guys, you know, on user acquisition um, in any way we can help. Um, so that's something that I think is is rare in the space and, and it's kind of been missing. Um, let me see if this works. So I want to give you guys a snippet of what's coming up. Um, we're launching a new wallet solution here. So it'll be email password or I think we support 12 or so uh, social logins, one to two clicks to get in. Uh, you've got an app store built right in. Um, you can manage your tokens, manage your NFTs in a very simple to uh, navigate fashion. Uh, we'll be able to help feature our dApps and kind of promote their games to our audiences. Um, I know that we kind of skipped through that. Hold on. Um, this little piece is kind of cool. Uh, we've built, you know, NFTs that have multiple abilities. So we have token backed NFTs and we also have the ability now to, you know, when we're, while we're working with some of these bigger IP partners, use promo codes or even in the case of physical brands, actually redeem these items um, in real life. So we're adding this functionality and we're trying to build the best user experience around that and the simplest onboarding. So yeah, that's basically the snippet of the wallet. Oh, we've got, yeah, some educational resources in there that you can highlight. Sending wax, any, any wax-based token for that matter, um, is extremely simple. And yeah, this is the great work of Dallas Rushing, the uh, founder of Karma. So I think, you know, one thing is it's easy to talk. Um, I wanted to kind of show you that the proof's a bit in the pudding here. So outside of uh, Ethereum, EOS, and Tron, it's the mo fourth most active blockchain by active daily wallets. Uh, we've got about half a million Wax cloud wallets uh, live right now, and that number's growing rapidly. I think with the partners and the games that we're bringing on in the coming months, uh, we're gonna see that drastically increase and really get up there in terms of active wallet accounts with, um, you know, the largest uh, chains. Um, the other thing is we are starting to see, see a lot of dApps leaving other top blockchains, you know, particularly EOS um, and other EOS IO based chains uh, to come over to Wax. Uh, I think it's a combination of many of the things I've talked about in terms of, you know, obviously it's easy to, to port from EOS to Wax, but I think it's also the continued kind of support and effort that we provide and all the expertise we kind of help bring to that, that particular avenue. Um, so 
yeah, anyways, this is a chart that was recently produced by DAP Radar. Um, wanted to put that up there. And coming soon, since I know there's a bunch of WAX guys watching this, uh, we, uh, as many people who follow WAX know, we signed a deal with Tops to be their blockchain provider for their uh, digital cards, their digital blockchain cards. Um, we're launching a GPK first series on May 12th, so mark your calendars there. Um, and then I think, you know, the biggest thing for us is We've really, really, for the last two years, been working very, very closely with uh, many large partners. And I think, you know, these next couple of months is that that coming to fruition and us really launching some, you know, household household IP. Um, and I think that's a huge step for blockchain is we had to come up with the legal frameworks, the legal structure, the technical infrastructure and the onboarding experience, you know, to even get tops out there. And now we're going to start seeing um, you're going to start seeing a huge influx of different games, different brands, different IP coming to the platform because we were able to solve some of those problems. Um, lastly here, I'll talk about, you know, fiat on, fiat off ramps, huge, uh, huge business for us. You know, we ran the world's largest peer-to-peer -peer marketplace prior to this um, and fiat gateways were a huge portion of that. Uh, we've seen the Wax cl uh, cloud wallet design. And then of course we got new dApps just like, um, like Oleg's Dark Country and you know five or ten others on the books to come out in the next few months. So very excited about that. I believe I'm over time, so I will stop sharing. Any questions? Thank you, Evan. Let's move into question. I see there was a quite a few in the chat. All right, this one. Let's start. Why do you think other projects are moving to WAX? Can we expect more projects in the future? Yeah, so I think I highlighted a bit about why I think projects are moving. Um, I think it's mostly because the tools we built, the experience, the onboarding that we built, honestly, um, they can see that as an avenue to getting to mass adoption. Uh, getting past a thousand, two thousand, three thousand users, and really trying to get up there. You know, I want to see a hundred thousand DAU in a game, and I think a lot of people see us as you know the platform that's willing to push that. And so I think that's one of the main reasons. Um, when is the development of the ETH bridge going to be completed? Uh, you know, that's a great question. I think. I can't give you a hard date now. I know it's something that's been specked out deeply. Um, you know, we'd love to be able to work with some of the ETH based games, you know, like Skyweaver and, and doing, uh, you know, getting other NFTs under a platform uh, for trading uh, purposes. But that being said, I don't have a date for you, man. So, yeah, the GPK cards, it's a full fledged dApp that we're launching on May 12th. So it'll have its own site. Um, you'll be able to buy them in credit cards as well. So that will be a very, very simple, you know, experience for those who maybe are tops and GPK fans, but not so familiar with, with wax or blockchain even for that matter. Right. So, uh, yeah, it'll be its own site. There'll be a trading infrastructure, a community infrastructure built into that. Um, you know, and I think this is kind of first of, of several IPs we want to launch, launch there. All right. Um, what is the most popular game offered by Wax? So right now, Prospectors is the most popular game. Um, definitely. Uh, I know they're doing, I think, like 1.5 to 1.8K a day. Oleg can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, what is the most promising game you are looking forward to releasing this year is the second piece of that question. Uh, that I couldn't even tell you, um, honestly, just from a confidentiality standpoint, but I think let's put it this way. I think the most important or interesting game coming out that you haven't seen or that isn't known is going to be a household IP. So something that you would have heard of way outside the blockchain space. All right. We got great question here. And um, thank you, Evan, for the presentation. It's amazing to see the adoption of WAX. Like, I don't, I think you have probably one, the number one uh, in terms of adoption there. So, congrats. I yeah, appreciate that. 